your word is water to my soul your word is life to me you weren't ready for that run hey you know what else you weren't ready for this fly novel searching for land written by your boy Mr. the male, the regular Christian guy, or whatever. So, let's get to the show of, hey, I'm Christian, New Music Mondays, I need good chill work music to listen to. And my hallelujah was tired You gave me a new song Now I'm Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report with which the male, the regular Christian guy. Y'all heard how hard that was? Oh, that wasn't as tough. I need to do some push-ups. But yo, what's up? Welcome to my channel, and this is New Music Mondays. Help! I'm Christian. I need new music to listen to. I need good chill music. Y'all like to chill. Good work music. Music that you can use while you're working and you're doing other stuff while it plays in the background. And yo, I'm about to give y'all some fire recommendations. And the first one has to go to not even an album, but a whole person, Jonathan Ogden. All right, and this is why I say I cannot give you an album. This man is on a whole nother level by himself and I refuse to try to put one of his albums over the other. He is so consistent. Most of his albums are kind of like EP length, so four to five songs about, I guess, 18 minutes. And right now he has like a season theme. So he has spring, summer, winter. I don't think he's put out fall yet, but his music is so lovely. It is so amazing. So there's just a peace and a tranquility in his voice that just allows rest just to set in and it's so intimate it's so genuine it's such a worship album so if i did have to give recommendations for albums i would do summer by the streams and then spring and they really embody what he's going for in his music. So in summer, you're gonna get like some summer vibe music where it's kind of like a two-step, really moving. Um, not moving, but everything is chill, so you're, you're not gonna get anything really loud or too upbeat, but definitely like a two-step, something like real groovy. Spring is a little more laid back. And um, By the Streams is just worship. I think that's why I like him so much. And I, I just want to say this, like, honestly, his music makes me want to get close to God. All of his music is scripture-centered, not even like, oh, scriptures are thrown into there. Scriptures are where the essence of the music come from. All the lyrics are somehow either directly plugged from scriptures and Bible verses or uh, motivated by it. And so, since the writing is so minimalist and so intimate and the musicality of it, um, you're not gonna find a lot of instruments, um, a lot of acoustic, kind of like if you like John Mayer. I think he is a good comparison to what Jonathan Ogden is doing. So you want to find a real sober, I don't even know. It's just a, it's just a love voice. I don't know, <laughs> but it's not like a love for like anything fleeting, but a real love for God and a real heart cry. Like his songs sound like prayers and it makes you want to pray. And since the lyrics aren't so heavy and burdened down by heavy instrumentation, but also a lot of words. It really makes you meditate on the word of God because the verses in the song lyrics are scriptures and Bible verses. So I truly want to say this, no other album, no other artist has made me want to draw closer 
and nearer to God than Jonathan Ogden and all of his music. And he just pairs all the worship with a few contemporary rock uh, melodies and rhythms, which is a good range. He has a very good versatility, um, versatility, versatility, <laughs> versatility um, to his music that it's just leaps and bounds. I guess his like accolades and recognitions, he really should be leaps and bounds. Like everyone in the world should like know who he is, especially Christians. I think minimum all Christians should know who Jonathan Oakden is. And then lastly, the storytelling in the music is theme based, based off of the titles. And it really makes you, I guess abide, I don't know. He, he's just amazing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so proud of him. I don't know him at all. He's not like one of my friends I'd be recommending. But yo, I wish he was my friend. This music is so good. I appreciate what he is adding to the genre. Um, yeah, Christian music, but it's so just good. <laughs> I need better words. But it does, um, lastly, put a piece and a tranquility and just a settledness in your spirit that you just abide and wait and sit and rest in the Lord. So that's why it is such good chill music because if you are going crazy, this music is so peaceful to your heart and your soul and your spirit. So you just have to rest and abide in um, his word, um, God's word, Jesus' word in Jonathan Oden's music. So that's my recommendation, all of his albums but especially Summer, Spring, By The Streams. And this is Jonathan Ogden. God, I need you more than anything, than anything. Cause your love is like a waterfall. And in love before you laid the world's foundation. You predestined to adopt me as your own. Yeah. All right, so second recommendation for I need chill slash work music to listen to has to go to Red Rocks Worship, and it's their album Living Liturgies. So um, <laughs> I like their music because it is um, really different. And it brings back a old air that we don't touch on a lot. It's very folky, but it's not folky in um, songwriting, but it's just instrumentation. So it's very eclectic and it's very unique also. So you have like the banjo and guitar and the violin and the twang in the voice could be slightly heard, but it's really appreciated um, in kind of not like an old school church style, but there is some type of renaissance to a former time, but it is very um, contemporary and very um, modern and very um, rhythmic. I think um, if you think of like modern dance or interpretive dance, um, where all the movements are very flowy and fluid and long, and it's really expressive, that's how the music is portrayed um, still very chill, very um, laid back, and rooted in Christ. And even the songs, you're going to notice in the album, all the songs are numbers, and they're based off of psalms in the Bible, which is very cool. And I think um, this music can really be appreciated because there's such an introspection and such a tenderness in the music. It really makes you go internally about like just being circumspect about your own walk with God and how you feel and how you line up with Jesus. And because the songs are all Psalms, um, they have a David and Psalmist root that really calls out and like sings like a hymn out into God. So I think that's where um, that old school like churchy thing um, shines through it's because it is like the hymns that I used to sing like that I used to know or whatever. so if you grew up in that like not CHA like Christian hip hop or um, contemporary Christian music CCM 
but you grew up in like a 100 to 200 size church with a congregation that's really small where you had hymnals and you had them in hand it really brings you back to that intimacy in church but also ultimately also ultimately an intimacy with God which is really refreshing and then there's such a intimacy and simplicity in the instrumentation that though they are more than just acoustic but the instruments are layered it's not overbearing and it's not interrupting anything and it just feels as if like the holy spirit is having a seat like a cloud should, a cloud is just descending it's just a i don't know what that is but just a just say it with me with the congregation says <laughs> but um, what is really appreciated is what they do vocally and what they do um, lyrically is that they really usher in worship through the music alone. So you're going to find a lot of pauses in both singing vocally and music, um, the musicality and sound sonically where they just allow pauses and tenderness for just a um, reflection of somehow, it really works. Like, I don't know how I'm really appreciating music for the fact that they stopped their music, but I really like it. <laughs> so it's really cool how they just use these isolated moments just to provide emphasis and just provide a different depth that a lot of people aren't doing, so it's cool. And I think the pauses in the isolation really brings out the moments where it is just acapella and it is just voice and just singing and the timbre and sound of the voice. So it allows just the voice, um, kind of like angels singing. Like, <laughs> I don't wanna hype it up, but I really do feel like that's something that could be appreciated through them. It's like the voice is ministering, the voice is the usher, the voice is the high priest and just leads us into worship to the secret place and the holy of holies. That's, that's what all these, um, recommendations I'm giving, they really get you in the holy of holies and just zoom, bring you there. So that's my recommendation. It is Red Rocks Worship. The CD album is called Living Liturgies. I will exalt you, Lord, for you are the hand that draws me high. It is my soul Hey, so last recommendation for best chill working music has to go to beautiful eulogies. And again, it's another recommendation where I couldn't make up my mind. So the albums go to Satellite Kite and Instruments of Mercy. And beautiful eulogy is in their own realm when it comes to these recommendations. Like honestly, they are so different from Jonathan Odin and Red Rocks Worship. So they are the most eclectic mix of rap, alternative, hip hop, but also like, I don't even know, orchestral music. They're using an instrumentation like no other. So it's way more multifaceted and multi-layered than the other recommendations, but it's still really good and very um, chill and intimate. So out of my recommendation, they are the most complex lyrically with instrumentation and the arrangement wise and also theology wise. Your doctrine is gonna be on point when listening to these, <laughs> to these songs. So it's way different than the simplicity of my um, other recommendations, but it's very appreciated. It's very, it's so different. I need a bear, where I need a bear send them, but it's so unique and so amazing. So an easy recommendation or an easy understanding of their music would be Rhythmic apologetics. It's unheard of what they are doing, but they do it so master, masterfully that the light theologian 
Christian appreciates it, but also the very music heavy music lover really appreciates what they're doing in instrumentation, not even in their um, lyrics. So I think that's why I like them so much because there's such a complexity and a richness in um, topic that you come out so edified. Um, the others had it with um, personal relationship, but I really think that this is better for a corporate relationship, how we relate to others, how we relate to God, how we relate to ourselves, and how salvation and the gospel works. But it's chill, it's like it's not pressing you. <laughs> and then there's such a masterful artistry when it comes to instrumentation and having the heart, but also having different effects that are outside of just basic instruments that are known, but really from the soundboard. So their sound can't be replicated, it can't be faked, it can't be anything but them, which is really dope. And then even the way that they are overlaying the voices, make the voices sound more like instruments than sometimes even a voice, which is so appreciated. I appreciate it because I, really grew up on that type of music where you had to layer and like just sound it's like yo <laughs> but um to its bare roots um the genre though it is chill and it is eclectic and rock and like hip-hop and rap this group is hip-hop mostly so if you like common if you like kendrick lamar if you like um q-tip if you like um, J. Cole, you're really going to like the storytelling and the mastery, mastering of language in this music. So albums that I recommend, Satellite Kite and Instruments of Mercy by Beautiful Eulogy. I acknowledge my sin to you and I did not cover my iniquity. You know what I've done, you know what I do, so I open my mouth and confess it to you. And you're making me new, it's your spirit at work to convict me of sin, so I know where to turn and I know where to run. Run to your homes to be cleansed of my sin by the blood of your son. Hey, plot that a sunset or an ocean can begin to set in mind when the Son of Man began to set in redemptive motion. For morals, meaning, and devotion, heart, mind, and emotion, substance, significance, and truth cannot be explained or reduced to a big bang explosion. So, single recommendations for good chill doing work music. Number one, the queen of intimacy herself, Stephanie Gretzinger. And the song is Letting Go. This is going to take you right where you need to be. You gave me a new song. Now I'm letting go. recommendation for chill, relax, good work music has to be Come and Move by Brian and Katie Torwalt. They are amazing. I hope I am pronouncing their last name right. But it's Brian and Katie Torwalt. T-O-R-W-A-L-T. Play that thing. Last recommendation for chill, tranquil, good work music is Nothing Without You by United Pursuit. This awesome, awesome album, check it out, by Will Reagan also. <clears throat> Actually, let me say it out loud so y'all can hear me. Ha! <laughs> so it's Nothing Without You by Will Reagan and United Pursuit. <laughs> So, boom, that's all my recommendations for good, chill, work, tranquil, vibe music. 
So I want to thank you for watching the Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And remember to support a brother by hitting the like and subscribe button if you like the quality of content. Also remember, this could be your witnessing, your evangelism, and your ministry. So share and be a blessing to someone else. Also remember, this is a communication industry where you can give me recommendations of music genres and different artists that I need to know about. But please, 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 please look up my playlist on this YouTube page, but also on Spotify. I have a lot of music and I have a lot of recommendations. I'm really excited. I'm going to also do intimate worship um, recommendations. Um, different subgenres, dance, workout, music, EDM. I want to do a lot of music references, a lot of new music Mondays coming to you. But you can help if you um, give me new stuff, stuff I don't know. And also, if you are an artist, remember to email me. I do um, CD reviews and also um, single shout outs, CD shout outs. Um, if it's up to par, if it's up to quality. So don't be hating if your stuff ain't that good and then I say it's not that good. I'm not going to say it on the video, but I am going to be like, eh, I don't think you're there yet. Yet! <laughs> but yeah, um, send me a direct email. Don't um, DM me or comment below. Maybe, actually YouTube is pretty good. I read YouTube stuff. Um, but email me. Um, it's in the description box below. Everything important is in the description box below. And remember to actually support good Christian music by actually purchasing the CDs and the albums, not just streaming it on YouTube and Spotify and SoundCloud and Tidal and all that other stuff. Actually buy the music so people know that you like them. So follow these people. So that's all the albums. That's Jonathan Ogden. That's Beautiful Eulogy, and that's Red Rocks Worship, and United Pursuit featuring Will Regan. So that's Brian and Katie Tomort, and Stephanie Gretzinger, the worship queen herself. She is awesome. So look out for her on future video. And also remember that this video is sponsored by my new book, Searching for Land. It's really good. It's all on the book buying areas and places. So go get that thing right now on ebook or hard copy. And also, if you want to check out my cool shirt, Jesus did it. It is by um, Jarvis and his clothing line is Sunday to Sunday Apparel. So that's going to be on here in the description box below. All the information that you need. So go check that out. Um, just Google it and whatever. It is. But yo, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your lives. Leave a comment. Let's talk it up. And remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? A. Hey. Jesus Cristo, Jesus Cristo, es mi Dios, es mi Dios, Espíritu Santo, Espíritu Santo, Espíritu Santo, es mi Dios, es mi Dios, es mi Dios. Espíritu Santo, es mi Dios, es mi Dios, Espíritu Santo, es Jesús Cristo.